In this video we learn how to create an reference object uh, for CNC milling and laser cutting. The aim is to be able to assemble it uh, better after producing it with our digital fabrication methods. Okay, again we start with creating um, sectioning planes. I'll just go into my top view and I have my basic object here and uh, the next thing I go into power. I don't want to keep the original object. I go into create. And again, we use our linear controller, but I just use it in my set, uh, Z direction. Just go into a linear controller, which is uh, uh, quite handy because it's uh, much easier to uh, to adjust. And um, I just move this up a little bit and go into uh, update. And you can already see that I produce my sectioning planes. The next thing I want to do, I just want to create a reference object, but it's not a box we're actually using, it's a shape. I just create a shape. I use something like a uh, one by one centimeters. It has to be something which I probably uh, like a wooden stick or things, uh, things like this, which I can use uh, after, um, after using laser cut and C, and C milling to uh, stick through my object. I go again into power and uh, want to create an array of 10, uh, 10 items. Here we go. And this time I use the same, the same array and I just go into my Z position and I can connect the Scala with the Scala. And I just use a Z position so it stays at the same position. If I go into update, we can already see what happened. I can select them. And uh, here we go, they're just uh, arrayed on the same height like my um, uh, sectioning planes, which is actually really handy. Okay, I want to use the sectioning planes uh, to um, for my basic uh, model, and obviously I also have to take this into power 3D. I go into assign controller, and uh, the FFD modifier uh, I don't need in power 3D right now. I just move it up a little bit. And uh, I have to use my Paranode Contour Generator to create my sectionings of my uh, basic model. And I open it, I just connect it to Paranode. I already know for my transform I would like to use my uh, sectioning planes, but I can't connect uh, um, this power with my, um, with my uh, matrix. And what I have to use, I just have to use a parametric array link controller and uh, just connect it now with my uh, sectioning planes and under show properties all I have to use transform and then I update it and here we go and the last thing I have to do I deselect my transform so I'm able to set the same amount uh, of uh, uh, contours like my um, uh, sections I created and then you can already see uh, under generate contours that my co uh, contours are created uh, with uh, Power3D. Here are my sectionings or my contours. So the only thing I have to do right now is I just have to uh, connect my sectioning planes with my reference objects and I just do this with my compound tool. I just go into Power uh, and uh, select my compound. Here we go. I want to have the input of uh, Paras and uh, I just connect it to my sectioning place as para A and para B I just use my little rectangles, these little objects and I just say each item of A with corresponding, corresponding item of B I just select this and I want to have it as a shape, that's really important uh, otherwise it doesn't, uh, it doesn't work, uh, not mesh but shape and I go into generate compounds and uh, here we go these are my comp compounds, I can already select them again and I uh, isolate them and this is exactly uh, what I wanted to uh, have and the only thing, uh, last thing, I have to disassemble this and I can do this quickly with my packing tool I just go into transform and use my packing I use it as a rectangle packing and I just create a, a packing, a packing surface like this one and uh, uh, choose my packing area and if I now update the whole thing you can see 
that uh, my packing worked really well for laser cutting or CNC milling and we have my reference object so it's a much easier way of s assembling it because you just have to use a wooden stick or something like this and um, then weigh them on this stick. Thanks for watching.